What's up guys, Jay Wally here and welcome back to yet another installment of Pura Vida. The major brands of the world from Davidoff to Habanos and even the brand that we're going to be checking out today are gearing up to launch their special Chinese New Year exclusives to capitalize on the huge demand from the market in China. And today, what cigar are we going to be checking out? Well, it's none other than the Vega Fina Year of the Ox. So Vega Fina is a brand that was founded in 1998 and they were I think based in Spain I don't know if they still are anymore but they most of their tobacco actually comes from the Dominican Republic as well as Nicaragua now this particular line of cigars the Chinese New Year edition this is your fourth installment it started out with the year of the dog followed by the year of the pig last year was the year of the rat and this year it's the year of the ox now I have reviewed the year of the rat before and you know what it is a really really good cigar much better than the year of the pig um, I must be honest when I had the year of the pig I was I mean it was all right it was a pleasant enough cigar but it did not blow me away but the year of the rat was just a wonderful smoke so I'm hoping that this cigar tops that or at least comes close to that as well it is a much much larger size format than the year of the rat though i thought the year of the rat was a pretty hefty cigar but this one you could knock someone out with this as you can see thick lush smoke from this hefty cigar it's taken about 45 minutes just to get past the first third itself now um I must say the flavor profile in it it's reminding me a little more of the year of the rat than it did the year of the pig what i mean by that i get this very sort of cashew heavy sort of flavor profile very nutty there is a beautiful vanilla sweetness on the finish and just a slight oaky sort of wood um, touch to it that's just a little bit astringent just a little bitter but don't let that sort of put you off because the nuttiness that vanilla creaminess together with that wood works really really well it's a very enjoyable cigar the strength is a very mild right now um i'm really enjoying it it's creamy it's thick the construction is absolutely gorgeous on this the ash is a little flaky but you know what tastes really really good so Alright, so another 45 or so minutes in, we are past the second third of the cigar itself. And I must say, still burning really, really well. Um, you know, the construction, I, I must give credit to the construction. For a cigar this large, there, there is a tendency to overfill it, to sort of, you know, be uneven with the roll and stuff. But this cigar is constructed beautifully, of, of course, end to bar in a mold. Um, everything's even a nice even shape as well on the flavor profile the initial sweetness that the first third yielded has faded off a little but that nuttiness is still there the only difference is that the sort of cashew flavor profile has evolved into a drier almond with skin on walnut with skin on sort of flavor profile you know that that sort of mild astringency on the finish just as you would expect with skin on uh, almonds or walnuts something like that uh, there is a strong woodiness as well on the finish uh, it's a very sort of cedary finish but a bit more intense it's not a light cedar finish and there's a bit of spice but it is a very gentle white pepper just a little salt bay sprinkling of a uh, white pepper there very very tasty complex um, obviously the toothpick is out so this cigar towards the final third itself becomes very very dry you know um it loses all of its sweetness it has a more oaky woody sort of flavor profile there is no spice whatsoever you just get a clean wood note it's not muddy it's it's not harsh it's not it's not anything like that it's a very delicate wood note but it is there it is there to announce its presence very balanced once again 
it's just very dry it makes your mouth dry sort of pucker up a little you get that slight tanginess from aged tobacco as well so that's about it to the final third itself but i must say for a toro size cigar it has kept me entertained because the worst thing to have is a large cigar that's really really one-dimensional and boring um this one's got transitions this one evolves as you smoke it as well so that's great it keeps your palate excited as well this cigar i must say is on the same part as the year of the rat um it's balanced it's refined you know nothing like the year of the pig i really did not quite enjoy the year of the pig when put of course they say you know foresight is a gift right so you know when put together with the year of the rat and also the year of the ox i must say the year of the pig is the weakest one that i've had so far this one's pretty good it's on the same par as the year of the rat and i quite enjoyed it um it's a good smoke it'll be lovely to be paired with something like tea you know i think it will bring out the flavors a little more or something sweet something like a bourbon uh will be just a perfect pairing for this um construction is still perfect a-okay no complaints there whatsoever so yeah that's about it on the vega fina year of the ox toro i'll see you guys till next time till then take care bye bye and remember stay smoky